Hey guys, welcome back. This is another part where I was checking the map from the previous one. And from where it looks like, I think it's fine to go through that gate. Well, I'm actually not too sure. So the gate is here. It is about here where we got the gate. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Sorry, my focus is... Yeah. So, about here. That. Yeah. So, I'm going to head back up there and... Uh, guess we'll see what's past it. See you at the top of the hill. Okay, guys. It should cut to this point. Or we're back at the gate. <sighs> kind of have to jog that one a little bit. Alright, I probably won't go too far in this, in the sheepfold. I believe it was sheepfold. Alright, let's keep going up and upwards. Yeah, getting up twice, getting up quite tired. <coughs> Makes sense as I only woke up like 45 minutes ago. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, it took us about three hours to drive down to get to this point. In, uh, in the um, sheep ball. And the, uh, from our college to here for three and a half hours. Yeah. Lake district's quite full. Oh crap, is that a go? Oh no. Oh flip. I'm going back. Yeah, that's a goat. <laughs> I don't know, I think uh, Young's with them. It's not a nice game. It's not a funny game when they got the Young with them. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it, I won't bother you. Nah, bro. They're all serious if they got their Young with them. That's no joke. I think this is a good stopping point anyway. We'll probably head back. No. <laughs> All that work. Yeah. Oh, I so want to see. I don't... Do you think... I don't know if he or she might run at me. No. I, I, yeah, she's still looking at me. Uh, where is it again? Sorry. Ten times zoom. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> this is not... I don't want to do too much. Because... <laughs> it's not even our route. I think, yeah. Look at my head back and... Hmm, tips and tricks. So, I think for DUV I packed a little bit heavier than last time. Yeah, I was actually quite a bit shocked. Well, anyhow, so I packed my... This time I bought dry bags. I hugely recommend buying... Getting dry... Getting dry bags. Come on. There we go. Yikes. Still, still a bit iffy from... Sports day. Oh uh, yeah. So I recommend getting dry bags, especially if you know the place that you're going is going to be quite wet and foggy. I mean, I did see on the forum, on the student room, that like uh, and then there's like Snowdonia, Lake District. Uh, I think maybe the Yorkshire Dales. It's a bit wet and foggy. 
but anyhow. Oh. Sorry. Oh, that was a, that was a bee. <laughs> Sheesh. Um, anyhow, bring some dry bags. They're pretty useful. Especially for your sleeping bag. Uh, guess another tip is to pack lightly. No, sorry. Pack a limited amount of clothes. Like, um, like you don't need lots of, lots of changeover for clothes. Like, you probably only need one spare jumper. Yes. Maybe one or two spare boxes. I mean, I brought two, as for me, male. But, but that was because um, last time on our practice, it rained throughout day three, and my boxes are made out of cotton. So when it's soaked, it's, <laughs> it's pretty difficult to dry it. So I do see this with myself. Pretty difficult, so. That's why I recommend having two spares. Um, I brought two spares, extra pair of socks for that same reason. In case it gets, well, in case this heavy rainfall for two days, but you could get away with two. I guess the tactic with that is when you go into your tent in that first day evening, then you would take off your sock and then put the other one back on in the tent so you can sleep with dry feet or you could just not wear socks but when my feet are cold if you look my whole body's cold anyway yeah um would be quite comfortable yeah i'd say bring a woolly hat and uh, comfortable gloves i mean i've got them but I'm probably not likely to use the gloves. I didn't really use them at all in the mornings. Yeah, they weren't. They were a bit iffy, but it wasn't too bad. The time is 6 a.m. <laughs> You're gonna love seeing this Casio watch. Anyway, uh, we're just heading back down. I think I might take this route this time. But yeah, um. Woolly hat and woolly gloves. Um, I guess um, another tip is to bring chlorine tablets, but I guess that depends if you're wild camping. I've seen from the forum that um, it tends to be people at least do one day of camp wild camping where you would not camp at a campsite. But for me personally, we are we decided to camp at a campsite for each of the days which is yeah which is fair enough um so you brought, bring a chlorine tablets so that you can so when you're um when you're collecting water i guess from a lake or such although streams are highly recommended as especially streams at high places Streams. I think maybe rivers, I'm not too sure, but they tend to be more clean. So you'd put chlorine tablet in them and then, yeah, you can drink that water which is being purified. Um, another tip from that is to bring squash. So, like, you know, one of those squirtable Ribena squash ones. Yeah, I'm not sure if you know. I think you get the picture but bring those so that the chlorine water can taste nice that is a good tip yeah i got that from somewhere that's a good one um i think from yeah pretty much we're getting close another tip is probably give me a sec Mm. I mean, another tip is probably to uh, 
probably to, to I guess wear what 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 you think might be suitable for throughout the expedition. To which I mean I think I'll probably just wear um yeah. I think I probably might just wear this jumper jacket waterproof jacket and this like t-shirt that's the combo I'm going with throughout the whole expedition these trousers as well as I might put on waterproof trousers these are water resistant a little bit I think or repellent I don't know but yeah um, having like not too many layers I guess because even if it's cold, like, your in bodily self feels so warm. But, oh my goodness. Like, there's been so many times where I just put on, like, it's been so cold, like, you know, like one degree and then put on so many layers and it's like boiling inside, but your hands are freezing. Not ideal. Anyway, we'll stop there and I'll probably see you before we leave the campsite. Thanks for watching.